Good afternoon, and welcome to the Panther Power Hour. This is Kathleen Smith and Ryan Markham bringing you your news. The third nine weeks ended Tuesday, so seniors, we just have nine weeks left. Due to snow days, our last day of school is now on May 26th. Seniors, we will be graduating on May 29th. Congratulations to all 38 members of FBLA who qualified to advance to the state competition in Louisville April 12th through April 14th. Congratulations to Sheikha Sachsaver for placing first in state in science and in math at the Governor's Cup competition. Also congratulations to Jack Carter for placing third in language arts and 10th in arts and humanities. And congratulations to Madison Coleman for winning a free ice cream at Dairy Chair. Congratulations to 8th grader Maud Monsoor for placing 5th place in social studies at the Junior High State Academic Competition. Partying, and partying, yeah. partying, and partying. Yeah. Fun, fun, fun. And now I'm here with Madison Nighthawk Coleman. The baseball team opens up their season Monday at 6 o'clock at home against the Paintsville Tigers. Then Tuesday, they play at home against Woodridge, Ohio. Please come out and support them as they start on the road towards Whitaker Bank Park. Our girls softball team also opens up their season on Monday night at McGoffin County. so weak. You're not weak. You just haven't tried this. This? This. Protein explosion. Protein explosion. Yeah, protein explosion for the boys. Okay, so uh, are you having a good time? Yeah, yeah, it's really fun. Really? Is this awkward? Not really. All right then. So uh, what's the Moorhead University uh, mascot? Um, you know, it's, I think it's the Eagles. No, no, it's not. No. I don't think it's the Eagles. Oh. Pretty sure. So um, see any pretty girls here? I've, Brandon's pretty. He's a pretty girl. You know, he just uh, he just called you pretty. You know that, right? Well, I mean, there's not a lot I can do to deny that. I mean, me neither. Okay, so back to you. Um, uh, um, so do you have any? Do you do you just want to say something to the camera? Just anything um, that you. Brand Brandon's a really pretty girl. Oh, he said you were really pretty. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> show. Um, there's been a lot of uh, different acts and, and most of them have been very good. Uh, there's been a lot of different people competing. We've had singing, we've had acting, we've had all kinds of things. Um, I, I don't know what's going on behind me right now, honestly. I think it, I think it's Harry Potter. I don't know. They're, 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 they're pushed. That lady's being really mean to that lady right there. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know what she's doing. She's just... Huh? Cinderella. But what about me? I deserve a little sympathy too. Oh no, you Last Thursday, Pikeville High School's Future Business Leaders of America traveled to Moorhead to compete in, re in the regional competition. 38 members placed in the top three positions to earn a bid to state competition held in Louisville on April 12th through 14th. Good switching to Pikeville really saved you 15% or more in your education. Does Chris Meadows love Darla Sue Johnson? Dear Darla Sue, I know that you know that I love you because I tell you every day. But just so you know, I sure do love you and I want you to be on my big redneck wedding with me so we can shoot the bouquet out of a tater gun and we can get married and such. I sure do love Darla. She's like 
starlight from a million light years away. But she's so close that you can touch her because I love her to death. Buddy, I don't know what I'd do without her. She's so beautiful and pretty and gorgeous and smart and stuff. Well, she can do my English for me. She's smart, I tell you what. She's got some of that, she got some of that brain power. So on uh, this week's section of uh, Pogwell's Got Talent, we're uh, featuring Chris Ward's artwork from uh, Art2, right? Yes. Art2, okay, so just just a just a real quick question so what were what were the colors like why did you choose those colors what what, what well, are the well i kind of like the red and the in the warm colors because you know i'm pretty energetic and you're trying to say you're hot that too uh, I'm, just I'm pretty, just a, just I'm just quick questions just quick questions uh yeah the facial expression yeah what what about it well i don't know i thought i'd do something different everybody just kind of does you know, they just sit there and just do the regular pictures, but I want to make the sexy face. Makes sense. Makes sense. So, you know, uh, give myself personality. Let's stick out. Makes sense. Well, uh, I guess that's all for uh, this week's section of uh, Pogville's Got Talent. Your own Chris Ward. Baby, we're alone now. You know I love you. Where's my candy bar? This Saturday, your Pikeville Pride Club will be hosting a kickoff cleanup. All Pride members are encouraged to participate and must be there in order to receive their t-shirt. The Pride Palooza starts at 10 and everyone should meet in the school parking lot. Special guests will include the mayor as well as the city commissioner. The cleanup will end at 11 and there will be a pizza party afterwards. So join us for a pride filled afternoon. And just a little reminder, next month is Energy Awareness Month, and our superintendent, Mr. Green, has set up a little competition between Pikeville High School and the elementary school. So make sure to turn off lights, computers, and unplug all electronic devices. And don't forget to take pride in Pikeville High School. This is Kathleen Smith and Ryan Markham coming to you from our studio in room 218. Well, see you later. <laughs>